finding the roots of a quadratic equation with leading coefficient 1, we're asked to solve for w, and since we have a quadratic equal to 0, finding the roots and solving for the variable, that's going to be the same thing. The first thing that we want to do, though, is we want to factor this quadratic. So I know that whenever I factor that, it's going to factor into two binomials, and that that will be equal to zero. So we have to factor. The w squared is going to be a w times a w. But now to figure out what goes behind those w's, I need numbers that multiply to be negative 14, but add up to the positive 5w. So multiply to be negative 14. That means either a 1 and a 14 or a 2 and a 7. The signs have to be different in order to multiply and get a negative 14. But they also have to add up to a positive 5. So if I'm looking for different signs that add up to a positive 5, if this 2 were negative and the 7 was positive, then they would add up to a positive 5. So that being the case, that tells me this has to be a minus 2, this has to be a plus 7. So now that I have it factored, and those two factors have to equal 0, then the zero product rule says either this one is 0, or maybe this one is 0, but one of those two have to be 0 in order to multiply and get 0. So let's assume the first one is 0. If we were solving that for w, we would add the 2 over to the other side, and I would get w equals 2. Or maybe it's the second one that is equal to 0. So w plus 7 equals 0. If that one's equal to 0 and I'm solving for w, I would subtract the 7 over to the other side and that would give me w equals negative 7. So you can see I have two solutions here, w equals 2, w equals negative 7. Uh, we were told if we have multiple solutions to separate them by commas, so I would say negative 7 comma 2 or 2 comma negative 7. It doesn't matter which order we put those in.